Hello Daily Drafters and welcome back to the channel for today's Daily Draft. We are continuing with Phyrexia All Will Be One this week. We may sprinkle in some Innistrad uh, Shadows over Innistrad Remastered at some point, but you know, I'll surprise you. I haven't decided exactly what I'm doing. I think the set releases tomorrow on Arena, so we will see how that goes. But for now, we have a pack one pick one to deal with, and this would be our third time pack one pick one ing Unctus in the format. And I don't really know if I want to anymore. <laughs> I've done it twice. It's cute. You know what the deck is. You know, we play, we, we pack one pick one Unctus, we wheel Eye of Malkator, and that's the deck. But that's not very interesting, right? So I think I'm deciding between Evolving Adaptive and Planar Disruption here. I think I'm going to take Evolving Adaptive. This card is just very, very good. If I hadn't played with Unctus yet this format already twice, I probably I'd probably played with it three times, I think. I got it in pack two or three once. I'd probably take it here. But I played with it already a couple times. So I'm just going to go ahead and take the Evolving Adaptive and then go on from there with Vivisection Evangelist is the best card in this pack by a lot. But there's... Oh, I thought this was the, the fight spell. Hmm. Titanic Growth is not actually where you want to be. This is a pretty darn bad pack. I might just take the Evangelist here. Everything else is pretty bad. Um... There's probably not a... A deck that plays this and the Evangelist, but everything else here is just so bad that I'm just going to take the Evangelist here. Alright, no more green to follow up, so I suppose we're taking a Crawling Chorus. Which is pretty good in a Vivisection Evangelist style of deck. Yeah, some underwhelming packs so far, for sure. Necrogen Communion just doesn't seem very good. I mean, it's fine if you land it. It's just if it gets removed underneath, it's basically you lose the game. <laughs> Annihilating Glare is fine with cor Crawling Chorus, but let's take the Crawling Chorus first and then go from there. Okay, so now there's an Exuberant Fuseling. There is a Chimney Rabble. There's a Battle Chair if we're thinking Adaptive. There is... Pestilent Siphoner for the hyper-aggressive, corrupted style of deck. And maybe I can go with that with the Evangelist here and we can wield a Bone Picker Scourge or something like that. I think the Fuseling and the Chimney Rabble are both... Well, they're definitely both better than this card. We just... We're, we have three different colors already. This would make a fourth. And this is the the color that is most contested in the format because it is the best color. So let's take a Pestilent Siphoner here and see if we can get into like a black-white aggro corrupted toxic style of deck here. I've yet to play with or against the Evangelist, so if we can figure out a way to get it into our deck and get our opponents corrupted, it's going to be pretty good. Alright, pick five, and everything has dried up. <laughs> Furnace Punisher is the best card in this pack by a lot. But I think I'm going to take Infectious Inquiry. It's, it's fine. Not great in black-white. Everything else here is very underwhelming, so I'll go ahead and take the Inquiry here. Okay, not bad. Not bad options now. Karamonix the Rat King is not the answer. So the question is, do we take an Incisor Glider, a Gulping Scrap Trap, or a Dune Mover? All of which I do like. I think I'll take the Glider. Although Dune Mover is very tempting here. None of these are rats, are they? 
No. I think I'll take the glider. I hope we can get a dune mover at some point. Um, I guess we're taking another inquiry, and I'm hoping not to play it. Don't care about this card. Rustvine Cultivator is fine. Well, maybe... Maybe green-white toxic splashing the evangelist? We're not going to play two inquiries. So let's take the cultivator here and see what comes of that. All right, so looking at some sort of Abzan toxic life going on here. don't think any of this stuff is going to be for us. Maybe a Titanic growth, because we're going to be incentivized to be attacking. Basilica Skull Bomb. I just have not liked the Skull Bombs in the format. I'll take Titanic growth. The only one I've liked is Blue, because Blue cares so much about artifacts most of the time, and it's a pretty good tempo artifact that also draws a card. But every other one has been mediocre at best. So let's see what wheels out of our first pack. A Plague Nurse wheels, an Atlas wheels, Apostle. Nebraska's Fall. I, I don't particularly like Plague Nurse. Well, Terramorphic Expanse to Splash, potentially. That that could be good. So not sold on exactly what colors we are yet. Hopefully pick or pack two can establish that for us. I guess a maze's mantle? We're more than likely to be toxic whichever route we go. It's a two drop. All right, so we're kind of all over the place with our colors here. We're going to hope that pack two can clear that right up. Well, Tyranax Atrocity. I mean, with the presence of Hexgold Slash in the format, I have come far down on this from week one. But who knows? Let's see what we find in pack two. There is one green card, and it's Atrocity. There is an Anoint with Affliction, though. There's also Blighted Ambassador, Charge of the Mites, Attendant. There's some good cards here. Edifice. I think I'm going to take the Anoint with Affliction here. And maybe Wheel, Attendant, or Charge of the Mites, if we're lucky. I think a black white deck looks best here from what I'm looking at and there's a second evangelist so I think that's gonna secure that in for me pretty easily um oof then there's a slaughter singer it's also a flensing raptor which is good with crawling chorus basically in our deck there's a basilica shepherd as well there's an incisor glider. I think I'm going to take my first copy of Flensing Raptor and look to be bl black white. Chimney Rabble, Hazardous Blast. All right, this could be the draft where uh, red is open, but I think that ship has sailed. We can take Prosthetic Injector here. That seems like that goes right into our deck. Necrosquito, Feed the Infection, Vraska's Fall, number two, and Cruel Grimnark. 
I guess I take Feed the Infection here. Probably looking at being black-white. None of this green except the Adaptive is very good. So I take Feed the Infection and probably don't play it. No white cards in that pack. It's a bit worrying. Have to hope that black is open this pack. And it could be. There was four black cards, so... Definitely need more ones and twos. White Belly Rat would be outstanding. Another Crawling Chorus or two would be good. Wouldn't mind a Screlves Hive. I've had that card three or four times in the format already. Dune Mover would be outstanding. Well, Chittering Skitterling is the kind of value we're looking for in a toxic deck. Whisper of the Dross is also very good. I think I'm actually going to take the Skitterling. It's good with Chorus. I only have six creatures so far. We have to watch out. You know, I'm actually going to take Whisper of the Dross as early removal and a way to proliferate a poison counter. The Skitterling, I think we're going to try to be aggressive. We're going to have to take some, some cheap ones and twos here. Activate abilities of creatures as though they had haste. We don't have any of that so far. There is Complete Devotion, though, which is a great combat trick for Toxic Deck. We'll go ahead and take the Complete Devotion here. I guess Fleshless Gladiator. There's also a ne Ravenous Necrotitan, and in this deck, ideally... If we get there in pack three with the amount of toxic I want, this could come down and, and be pretty good. I haven't played with this card yet. Let's try it. Charge of the Mites did wheel, which is great. So did Bone Picker Scourge, but I think Charge of the Mites is exactly what we're looking for here. Still haven't seen any Blight Belly Rats or any um, of the two twos that have First Strike on your turn. Priest of... Guys, I'm so bad with card names sometimes. When I'm just sitting on my couch, it's much easier. But as soon as I get put in front of here and I have to remember a card name, it's like, um, I remember nothing. You know which one I'm talking about, though. So we either need Infectious Inquiry or Feed the Infection. I don't think we're going to run both. I don't really want to run Vraska's Fall, but we could. Our three drops are fine right now. Probably don't need the Expanse unless we splash, which we're currently not. Maybe another Incisor Glider Wheels or something like that. Need some one and twos. Not really a two. I'll take the Scrap Trap. It's a good proliferate creature here. But boy, do I need ones and twos with Toxic. I'm not sure we're going to wheel any. I didn't see any earlier in the packs. Yeah, we're not playing any of that. Well, cross your fingers, we find it as we go into pack three. And as we do, each and every one of you that are here and have yet, not yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead and drop a subscription down below. Um, if you're still here and you, you've kind of found another Vraska's Fall, maybe, and you've just found this channel and you're still here and you're just watching our first draft, um, clearly you're enjoying something, so would not mind you considering dropping a subscription down below if you would so choose. And here do we find a lot of good cards. <laughs> Tyrannax Rex. Not for us. There's Ossification and Anoint with Affliction. That's what we're deciding between here. Ossification kills anything. Anoint with Affliction kills anything conditionally. 
So I guess that means we take the ossification here. Can't be upset with that. Woo! Oh, okay. I think we have to take Rat. As much as I want the Evangelist, I think we have to take Rat here. I said I wanted ones and twos with Toxic. This is the exact thing our deck needs right now. I would not mind another Evangelist, but we absolutely have to take Rat in that situation. That is the disciplined pick to make. Maybe that one wheels. I don't think it does, but it's possible. You never know. Ideally not playing really any of those. Everything else seems okay. I don't think that one's very good. I want to try out the Necro Titan. Crawling Chorus is very high on my pick order here. Are there any other ones with Toxic? Don't think so. So more rats. Duelist of Deep Faith. There we go, guys. We finally got there. It only took about 10 minutes. <laughs> Duelist of Deep Faith is what I want. Cards like that. Holy red. <laughs> Hex Gold Slash, a Vault Charge. There's an Anoint with Affliction. There's a Skitter Fang. I think I'm going to take Anoint over Skitter Fang. Every time I play with this card, it's not very good. And every time I play against it, it destroys me. <laughs> so the Intendant would not be bad either, but I'm going to go ahead and take Annoying with Affliction number two. And got five more picks here to see something good. And by something good, I mean like Crawling Chorus. <laughs> wow. I mean, it's that Charge of the Might or Fleshless Gladiator. I think I'm going to take my third Evangelist. Does that mean the fourth one is going to wheel? We, we really have to make sure we get them corrupted. Because if we do, boy, are these going to take over the game. <laughs> Currently have one, two, three two drops. Here's another one. It's a very aggressive one. But it's fine. Four two drops and a one drop. We need more than that. Currently at just 11 creatures. The injector helps. Three more picks to see something here. Stinging Hive Master, okay, it's not a two drop, but it's got Toxic, it's a three drop for us. I think that's a pretty easy one, we'll go ahead and take that here. Two more chances at Duelist of Veep Faith and Blight Belly Rats and Crawling Choruses. Can we find it? No, but we have another Hive Master, which is fine. One more shot. Give me a Blight Belly Rat. Give me a Crawling Chorus. Give me a Duelist of Deep Faith. And we are golden here. Maybe a Whisper Wheels, which wouldn't be the end of the world. Maybe the Evangelist Wheels pick 10. I don't think it does, but you never know. Now there's a Black 2 drop, but... Not really the one we're looking for. We already have another inquiry, right? No, we feed the infection. Offer immortality might not be bad with as much as we're attacking. It's probably a playable card in this deck. So we did not get the two drops we wanted. Anoint with affliction on the wheel. Maybe that means Evangelist is wheeling as well? Pick 10 Evangelist? Come on. 
It's right here. It's right here. Let's go. Pick 10. Wow. All right, so there's no other black-white drafters at this table, clearly. And we did what we could. We just didn't see the twos and the three, or the ones and the twos for the, the archetype. I think it was open for us. They just weren't opened at the table. And that happens sometimes. I don't think I'm playing a Terramorphic Expanse here. That's just a tap land that we don't need. Maybe, probably not. Got a couple cuts to make, but it's always a good place to be. That's not what I meant to do. I meant to sort it first. So this is on the chopping block. This is on the chopping block. I want to try this card. I think it might be okay. Everything down here seems pretty good. Which tells me we just do this. And that's 40. 14 creatures. Two siphoners. Three anoint with afflictions. An ossification. A whisper. An injector to help us there. Evangelist coming down and just clearing the way. Not four of them. We're going to have one of these in our opening hand like every single game. <laughs> we don't have any equipment except for the injector, and that's a cheap equip. So we don't have any mana sinks here. So I think running it back like this is probably fine. What about the Necro Titan? I mean, we're trying to win through Toxic, I think, pretty clearly. Or at least get our opponents toxic and then win through having just a bunch of 4-4s four that are 2-for-1s. So is this even good? What would we play over it? Frasca's Fall? Gladiator? Bone Picker Scourge? It's also pretty good with Crawling Chorus. It's fine with Charge of the Mites. It's okay with Siphoner if they play a, a good blocker that we just have no use for this card anymore. I think I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it out. So, different kind of black-white deck with four evangelists, and we'll see if it does well in the queue. See you there. All right, we go first with Injector on one. You can kill their two-drop, play a three. It's not the best of starts for us, but... It is a start. Build your own 3-4 with the Injector, Toxic 2. I don't really want to kill that necessarily, so I'm just going to play the Hive Master here. Hope it survives. Anoint with Affliction, if they use that on this, that would not be good for us. They don't have an instance, so they do not have Anoint with Affliction. Dune Mover, that's fine. Let's go ahead and equip this thing up. Get in there with a Toxic 2. And just play another one.
Rhea Evor. Yikes. What is this targeting? I can't see. Oh, okay. It's targeting this. Alright. So you prevent that damage and make... Two mites? Okay. Yeah. They can't really block with Rhea Evor, I wouldn't think. Yeah, I didn't think so. so. We'll just put them to six poison here now. Wait, did they just kill us? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, they don't kill us. And I think that means we win on the on the crackback with the removal spell and a combat trick. They also just leave themselves dead? Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh wow, <laughs> that just killed them. That's ridiculous. What a top deck. <laughs> Jeez. Nice. Perfect top deck. The exact card we needed to get it over the edge. <laughs> wow. Awesome. Well, this will be a lot better on the play, but can't always be lucky. So we'll go ahead and take the cards. Oh, we didn't see any of our four evangelists last time. Interesting. Did they play in X2? Play in X1. <laughs> now they're showing up. Alright, do you want to block? Didn't think so. Gold Warden's Helm, yeah. Looks like they will block this one. We'll kill their 2-3. Eh, maybe not anymore. I'd rather just play out the Hive Master here now. Looks like they will be corrupted by turn 5, which is good. Double Evangelist should turn this around right quick if we can find our 5th land. Hopefully. <clears throat> okay, that sucks. <laughs> that means it doesn't even die into a mite. Okay, they are officially corrupted, which means a land off the top allows us to just 
mow down their board while adding 4-4 Vigies. Kemba. Okay. Might have to try to win with Toxic this game. <laughs> Considering this Justiciar is getting bigger and bigger. There we go. Um, yeah, I'll go ahead and kill the Kemba, I think. They probably have protection. But they were going to have protection anyway. I guess the Exile could have done something. Charge of the Knights. Okay. Down to one card in hand. And we have two removal spells. So this is going alright. Mirin Bardish. Get in. We still have removal for the Justiciar if we want it. Could also just trade if they decide to equip the Bardish to it. Doctrination Attendant. Returning Gold Warden's Helm. Oh, returning Planar Disruption to get rid of one of these. Interesting. That's, that's probably okay. Sure, we have ways to blow them out here. Yes, we do. Okay. Pass it right on back. They drew another planar disruption. Next century, jeez. Okay. They're drawing good cards, that's for sure. Yeah, they probably shouldn't block there, because they can just play the Mirror and Bardish next turn, so that was a good no block by them. You got more gas in hand now? Okay, you have a 3-6. And now we don't have attacks anymore. So I'm just going to pass it on back. I mean, we could have bluffed some attacks there, but like... It's not great. We have two more Evangelists in the deck. Wouldn't mind finding one of those. This will work too. Go ahead and take another. And things are going just fine at this point. Let's see what they top deck. Woof! Man, they're having some good top decks here, that's for sure. 4-3 double strike. Now we can't attack. 4-4 <laughs> double strike. Good god. Okay, well, I guess I can't complain. <laughs> Three... <laughs> 
Man, that was Haymaker after Haymaker by both players there. But we drew three Evangelists, so uh, yeah, that's pretty busted. <laughs> All right, we go first with Siphoner on two, and that is probably good enough to keep. We do have removal spell as backup if they remove this. Ugh. <laughs> one mana, one two flyer. <laughs> sure. I guess Flensing Raptor can let us attack through that this turn. Good god. Okay, these top decks are good. Really need to make sure we get them corrupted here. Bladed Ambassador, yeah. I think I'm going to go ahead and Flensing Raptor. That lets me get them corrupted next turn if I really want to use Ossification or Anoint on their lookout, which I probably do. Hit it with the flyers, man. All right. I think I just have to get them corrupted here. Because we now we have a removal spell in hand. So we can afford to just do this. If they play some funny business here, we can we can get rid of it. Assuming it doesn't have indestructible or something. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, good. Good for you. I think I would actually like to kill their Bladed Ambassador now that they can't remove the counter. I'll go ahead and do that. Poison you to death. A five two. Okay, they're at eight poison now, so that's notable. I 
don't think they have great answers. They can probably survive if they can get rid of a Siphoner, but if they can get rid of the Evangelist, we're still not dead. And then the Siphoners kill them, so... Yeah, like, we're still not dead, so the Siphoners just kill them now. Awesome. Good job, Siphoners and Evangelist doing work. Sure, why not? You always ask me if I win. I'm gonna say yeah. Oof, this hand is rough. I mean, if we draw a black, it's great. But um, if we don't, we just have a raptor, a raptor on three. We're on the draw, though. We'll get it. We'll get it. We got two chances for a swamp. Let's go. Never didn't have it. Sometimes things just go your way. I gotta get the siphoner down, right? I can race this thing. Barbed batter fist. I'm actually going to play Hive Master and plan to trade with their 3 1 because I don't think I can race a 2 2 and a 3 1 plus a chimney rabble or whatever's coming next. Now, if they kill it, they eh, kill it anyway, so, oh well. They have to take five again. Still not planning on trading. Because we have two removal spells and a combat trick in hand. That's fine. Can I race and then use two removal spells here? Probably. Well, I, have, I can only use one removal spell. If I give them three poison counters. They're dead in three turns if I do it this way. Um, this is tough. I think I can race a little bit here. And then, just go ahead and get rid of this thing. Still have at least one removal spell. Okay, go to four. Probably should have played around Chimney Rebel there. They're missing land drops, so... 
Kimba. Why didn't you play that first? Alright, we'll play a blocker. We'll get in for two toxic. Three, that means they're dead next turn if they can't deal with these things. That we just block something, kill the other one? No. I gotta play it a little careful. I'm at four, and they could have a volt charge and stuff. They are dead next turn if we're able to keep this flensing raptor alive, though, but I probably have to block with it. Yeah, so I definitely have to block with it now. They did not prove that they had an instant there. It went immediately, so they don't have Volt Charge in hand. So I, I'm good to complete Devotion here and just take one damage. Oh, crap. <laughs> I thought that thing gave Indestructible, too. Oh, no. Oh, that's so bad. That was not very good. <laughs> not very good by me. Oh, that was such a punt. <laughs> Why did I think that gave indestructible? Found a land and a bladed ambassador, so things are things are heating up here. Should have won this game so easily. <laughs> I'm going to be so upset if I punt it away. Okay. Go ahead and put the injector over here on the vigilance creature. Attack with it. They're gonna chump and loot, or chump and rummage, I suppose. Get rid of a land. Don't need that anymore. in case they have, like, Rebel Salvo or something. 
Really hope they don't find Volt Charge off the top. Awesome. <laughs> that game should not have been that close for sure, but we did get there. So, got the win. That's all that matters. All right, we go first with a great hand. One, two, refill the hand. Hopefully get them corrupted. No one drop. Come on, no one drop. That's so frustrating. <laughs> Not only is it a one drop, it's one that can block this stupid thing. Jeez. <laughs> no one drop, no one drop, they play one drop. Okay. I could have used Offer Immortality to get to kill that thing, because they probably would have blocked, but I'd rather just advance my board here. The full soul tie. Just going to go ahead and save these back next turn we can well we can't do all these things because we don't have another black Double blue. Do they have the yep, Quicksilver Fisher? Yep. Okay. Black off the top. Uh, no. I'm okay trading this for their basilisk. Gets me a mite out of the deal. I can still get rid of this if I have to. Probably gonna get rid of this now. Vencer. Now I have to maybe get rid of that now. Hold up, anoint. What does this do? Whenever you proliferate. Do I have a chance to respond before that happens? I prefer they just like didn't get a free 3-3. <laughs> so I just don't want to risk 
them being able to just proliferate. And we don't get a response. Like, that trigger goes on the stack whenever they just proliferate. I guess I could have responded to their... Whatever their spell was that used proliferate there. Was one thing. So if I can... If I can resolve the... Injector over to the glider, get them corrupted, play Evangelist next turn. That'd be a pretty good turn. That requires them to not kill glider, not play a flyer. All of which... Might be interesting. Okay, they're gonna proliferate that counter. And do it again. No. Don't play a flyer, just play... That's fine. And what else? No, that's not fine. <laughs> you can't fight. So they're going to use the uh, the fight spell on the glider here. But it does require them to tap this. But I don't have a good way to get... I can throw away a 1-1 one -one to get them corrupted. Which is probably going to be worth it here. So... Oh, and it's a bite spell too. So, Alright. Well, let's get him corrupted, then. Uh-oh. Silvok Battle Chair? What do you need six mana for? Venomous Brutalizer and a Proliferate. Okay. We'll do this. This has Toxic 1 now, so this can give it flying. Any that has a Vigilance... That's fine. We are now corrupted. They're thinking about attacks here. I mean, they have a free attack with this. It's just it doesn't have vigilance, so. Well, what if we just attacked with these two and then use charge of the mites on something? on this ideally but the thing is if they have like response to bounce a creature from us that's not very good for us at all so i'm just gonna hope i'm just gonna not let them blow me out here <laughs> They didn't even put a counter on the Cultivator, so they're trying to hold something up. Okay, I can't block that. Okay, that's another 4-3. If I play two, play and make two one ones, I can hit them for two poison next turn. 
and if they remove something, I hit them for one poison, and then they're dead to Raptor next turn, but then we potentially die. If I use Charge of the Mites on the, on the Mantis, and they kill a creature, we're in trouble. If I draw a land, we're in trouble. Let's see what they have here. I feel like they have Bounce or something. Okay. Got them to one. Or nine. That's all they had. Just the Cultivator. Probably could have killed him, but it would have been risky. I can double jump here, play two one ones on the backside. Okay, that's not the end of the world yet. Two cards left in hand. They need seven mana? Proliferate twice. Okay. Well, that means they're out of mana. So, if we can survive this attack, which I think we can, I think that means we win. Because the raptor just kills them in the air, too. There we go. All right. <laughs> 5-0. and oh, Let's keep this train rolling. It's going well so far. Okay, we go first with, unfortunately, a hand I don't think we can keep. If one of these was a planes, this is an easy keep, but we'll just go ahead and draw the exact same hand here. <laughs> it's like literally the same thing. Just two swamps, chorus, chart. Four of these cards are the exact same. Um... Okay, I guess we're doing that. <laughs> I guess this is the only way we uh, we lose in this draft is to <laughs> to the shuffler. All right. Well, at least we top deck to planes because that could have gotten out of hand quickly. Okay. Very much like to get them corrupted here, like pretty desperately, so this evangelist can actually do something. So I basically have to do this. Oh, I could have. Well, it's okay. Not the end of the world. They're corrupted, so the evangelist to land off the top lets us kind of do what we need to do here. They didn't find a land off Vorak, interestingly. Um... I'm actually gonna kill this one. Let's us attack right now. 
It doesn't let them have oil, all the all the things we're looking for. Amanda gives vigilance. Okay, not bad, not bad. They're stuck on three lands here, but we are at nine. They're at effectively three. Okay. I think we can get in with everything. They can eat that, but then they don't have good blocks with the other thing. We have to take nine, and we have a creature back, and they're at eight poison. Okay. I guess they have removal? Chimney rabble. So if we attack with the Evangelist, we trade it for Stalker and Rabble here. And then we can re-equip Ejector, Injector. Yeah, so I guess we trade this for Stalker and Rabble. Or all of those, okay. Oh no, rabble in a 1-1. One, one. Okay, okay. Not bad blocks from them. Three cards on hand, five mana. No attacks, okay. I think I'm just fine with these. If I go for Devotion and they kill this in response, it's not good for me. So let's see if they do a combat trick of their own. Okay, so I can't see. I am just going to do this then now. Not a bad draw. Also considering they could have potentially like killed me with that Tyvar stand. But now they can't. So the Evangelist can take out this Stalker. Now it's going to take out the Ravager. <laughs> Trade the chorus for the stalker here. Re equip the injector, and we're looking okay now. Yeah. 
nine poison, and they're going to sack the Hunter's Maze, be left with three, and I don't think they can find their way out of that. Six and O. Oh. Cross your fingers, one more win. Okay, so we've had some sketchy hands, and this might be another one. It doesn't do anything. Like, we can't play any cards there, so I think we have to send that back. We're going to keep this one, but what do we send back here? I guess Infectious Inquiry, and we plan on playing Charge of the Mites as a as two one ones, and then removing one of their one of their things here. Doesn't feel good. One of the only things that's derailing this draft is our opening hands. We're dealing with what we can, but probably just going to anoint whatever they play. Really have to make sure the the coast is clear for our creatures here. Yeah, definitely going to anoint that. Guess I'm just playing Hive Master now. Siphoner a turn sooner would have been nice. See if they play something that can trade with it, or if they just kill it with a Hex Gold Slash. If they do, they should do that on our turn. Lightbringer. Well, that will trade. But I think I'm okay doing that. Again, really have to make sure they get corrupted here. Because of our four evangelists in the deck. Chimney Rabble. Yeah, yeah. I'm willing to take it so that they take both of these here. I might trade for the Might. Because the sooner we get them corrupted, the sooner we can stabilize with an Evangelist here. Yeah, yeah. Alright, gonna plan on making two 1-1s. One Assuming we don't die to Chimney Rabble dot deck. Ugh. More haste. <laughs> it's seven damage. We also need lands to be able to play this, so that's notable. It's not a land. I don't know if this is going to matter anymore. Do we attack with this? We get them to four poison? I think we have to plan on blocking the rabble with the hive master, taking four from the strider and hope they don't hit, up, hit us with too much more haste. Oh man. There's the Hazardous Blast. We've had some good Hazardous Blast games too, so... Can't be too upset about it. Let's see if they have another one next turn. Can't attack, because this can give haste to something, so we're gonna have to, like, triple chump here. <laughs> You have another Hazardous Blast? I'm sure they have a way to win. 
We were on the back foot this whole game. Man, 6-0. Lost to a mulligan and a bronze four player. <laughs> Well, anyone can beat anyone in the game of magic due to lands. They didn't have a creature in hand, though, and if they did, they didn't do it correctly. Yeah, they could have just given that haste. And a flyer. Mm-hmm. Need a land next turn badly to get rid of that Furnace Rider. Okay, there's a land. That's okay. That's not okay. Here comes everything. So we have to do this. Is our only way to survive, so a land off the top still won't let us win, unfortunately. Yeah, we found it, but gosh. Couldn't quite get it done here. Yeah, that's what happens when you mulligan. <laughs> you mulligan and then you get stuck on three when they're just hitting all their lands and creatures. Gosh, six and oh. See if we can get it in 7 and 1 here. Alright, on the draw again, but we've got Double Siphoner. So maybe that'll be quick enough to win. Double Siphoner, double removal spell. Just have to hope we don't get run over too quickly. Flensing Raptor, get out of my way. As much as I would like to play another Siphoner here, I need to start getting on this Corrupted Train. Evolving Adaptive, that's okay. No, you're not allowed to do that. I need to get you Corrupted, like, very badly. Creature or Planeswalker? So I could can't get rid of the disruption here. Okay. Gonna save it. Ugh. Gotta outrace this. More lands. Please don't play something in the way of Siphoner here. That is something in the way of Siphoner. Removal. Nope. Ugh. This feels so bad. Gosh. Sometimes you just can't really do anything about it. They just play the the cards when they need to play the cards and oh. <laughs> they got rid of an ossification. <laughs> Guys, this is just not go. Oh my goodness. Hmm. 
Here comes another land, I'm sure. No, they're not corrupted, so it can't get rid of any of these three. Do we have to chump now? I think we do. God, they had every answer. Every single answer. Yeah, we have to chump too. Get in the last one here. Alright, on the draw with a pretty bad hand, but at least we don't have mana issues, so I guess we're keeping it. Pestilent Siphoner off the top would be good. Blight Belly Rat off the top would be good. Really anything we can play. Not another land, though, I'll tell you that. So I can play Raptor and hope they don't have some sort of removal or bounce. If they have bounce, Offer Immortality isn't going to do anything. I can equip and play Raptor. We'll see if they bounce now. Yep, I have the bounce. So, oh well, I thought they did. They looked like they were going for it. Maybe they just have much charge of the mites. Okay, that won't do it. So many planar disruptions. Need to get them corrupted. So we'll go ahead and Hive Master here. Don't really need to kill anything at this exact moment, so can probably just Inquiry and Siphoner. Or Inquiry and Rat now. Seems better. Sort of Forge and Frontier. What does that do when it hits? Exile the top two, you can play them, and an additional land. Is that worth chumping? Play them this turn? Yeah. So they get an extra land this turn. Okay, I'll let you have that, I guess. Okay, that's good. Great draw here. Now we can do this. Proliferate their poison. Get in with both of these, they go to nine, and then <laughs> all we have to do is kill our own blight belly rat. When it dies, proliferate. Right? 
interesting way to win a game. But at the end of the day, it works. <laughs> All right, we actually got there with the trophy again. I think that's our sixth trophy of the format. We've had a good format so far. Lots of highs, lots of lows. We've been on a roller coaster here, but I'm glad you're here with me. All the way. If you if you appreciated the content today and you watched all the way and you appreciate a trophy, a subscription is greatly appreciated from my end. Thanks so much for tuning in for today's video and I will see you next time for your daily draft.